Is it done? Is Wendell Antonowski... Dead. What about the city? Everyone pulled through. We've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep. But I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy. Good job. So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. That's all right. There's always another story. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? Funny you should say that. I'm considering jumping ship. I realize that blindly chasing a story that would nail OCP made me hurt a lot of people who didn't deserve it. Mainly you. There's this local paper that does what I always said I wanted to do. They help people in the community and give them a voice. Oh, and it probably wasn't clear, but I tried to hide an I'm sorry somewhere in all this. Noted. I'm glad. See you out there, Robo. You will. Seriously, man, I'm done for. Oh, I get you. I've been there too. No, you haven't. You. Never been married. I promised my missus that I wouldn't do any more overtime. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. <laughs> you do that for me? <sighs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor.
we got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy brought a lot of suffer into this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. But that did not stop you. You proved competent. Not to pat myself on the back, but I really did. Just, who knew that selflessly helping others is so exhausting? And rewarding. Yeah, you may be onto something there. I checked on the folks that called in to make sure they're safe. And they were. Uh, but now, I need to catch up on my beauty sleep. I can't believe I'm the only one here. Don't they know there are mattresses back here? They probably mind the vomit stains. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. See you around, partner. So, Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right! No escaping the grave. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, cause the guy from the Holy Cow joint he came by earlier and left a tray of burgers in the staff room as a thank you for our work. Shut your mouth! It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients. But these past couple of days I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin, I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage locker. I get it. I'd probably do the same. This precinct really makes you feel secure. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. 
For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos, and most importantly, who is going to stop it. I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. <laughs> 